see they got their cameras there so it shouldn't be a big deal right you said that we allow you to record you don't allow me to do anything sir I have the right to record. I'm going to tell you all right now, you better fire him while you're ahead. I mean, this guy is out of his mind. And if that attorney gave him that advice, you also need to fire him and ask for a refund. If you just do your damn job, we wouldn't even be here. Do you get that? I can tell you right now, you don't have my consent to record me outside of this room and outside of the city council I don't need meeting. your consent. How's that? You want to arrest me? Do it. It's effective immediately in accordance with the authority granted to the city manager pursuant to section 7.3 of the Sheridan Home Rule Charter. This order sets forth reasonable rules and regulations applicable to the use of the entryway, inside lobby, and reception areas, council chambers, conference rooms, or other locations inside city hall in which a public meeting is not being conducted, or other areas of Sh Sheridan City Hall designated as city employee work areas, which are non-public forum. These rules are necessary to ensure the efficient and orderly operation of city council chambers and other administrative offices located inside Sheridan City Hall, safeguard employee safety, maintain emergency access and evacuation routes, and to preserve methods of ingress and egress for the general public to attend city council meetings, municipal court proceedings, or, or other City of Sheridan public meetings occurring inside the City Council Chambers and to otherwise safely access the, rest, the public restroom facilities inside Sheridan City Hall in the reception lobby area of Sheridan City Hall. As such, the following activities are not permitted inside the aforementioned areas within Sheridan City Hall. One, handing out leaflets, flyers, or other written publications. Two, hand-to-hand -hand distribution and circulation of petitions to collect signatures. Three, petitioning on behalf of candidates for elected office. Four, public demonstrations, which shall mean a rally, a gathering of picketers or protesters, a speech, a march, or any other similar gathering for the purpose of communication or expression of ideas, views, or grievances. Uh, number five, soliciting funds, donations, or services. Number six, picketing. Number seven, placing, erecting tables, exhibits, chairs, kiosks, and other structures for displaying or storing literature, fundraising activities, petitioning, selling, or offering merchandise, solicitation, or conducting any of the aforementioned activities. And eight, the use of any audio or video recording device without the consent of all persons whose voice or image is being recorded. Consistent with First Amendment protections, the aforementioned activities may be conducted, may be conducted, on public sidewalks adjacent to Sheridan City Hall grounds or outside of Sheridan City Hall, provided that the activity must remain 25 feet from all public entrances to Sheridan City Hall, and those engaged in the activity are not blocking, interfering, or impeding on the rights of others to freely enter and exit the Sheridan City Hall and otherwise conduct business within Sheridan City Hall, regardless of distance from the entrances. Further, those engaged in the aforementioned activities outside Sheridan City Hall shall not occupy or block fire or emergency lanes and access, shall not occupy parking spaces, and must stay clear of traffic lanes and vehicular entrances. Any person who fails to comply with this administrative order shall be served with a copy of this administrative order and may be ordered to vacate Sheridan City Hall premises. Refusal to vacate City refusal to vacate Sheridan City Hall premises after being ordered to do so, pursuant to, pursuant to this administrative order, may constitute a disruption of city business and will be, deemed, will be deemed to no longer be present within Sheridan City Hall on legitimate public business and shall constitute a trespass under the Colorado Revised Statutes and the City of Sheridan Municipal Code, issued this ninth day of November 2022. So, to councils, uh, uh, what I would say is that I think this document speaks for itself. Uh, we do allow people to uh, attend our public meetings in the uh, conference table share, oh, wow. and they can uh, record and uh, interact with us um, in accordance with the rules that we have for our meetings. Um, but then outside of the, the uh, city council chambers, and when a meeting is not taking place, then people may not record 
uh, any person in the building, whether it be employee or otherwise, and unless they have their consent. And so uh, this was uh, the result of um, research by our city attorney's office. And uh, we uh, wanted to bring this to city council's attention um, that um, this has been in effect um, as of uh, the 9th of November and is at this moment in effect as well. So you folks are welcome to film in here during our meetings. Um, happy to have you for that and appreciate you attending and bearing with us uh, with the uh, rules that we have for our meetings during public meetings like that. But um, after that, I can tell you right now, you don't have my consent to record me outside of this room and outside of the city. I don't need meeting. your consent. How's that? You want to arrest me? Do it. Hey, BMA True Believers. This is Rich with Blind Man Audits. And today I am following up after um, Denver Metro Audits um, and the city of Sheridan. In regards to administrative order that was uh, put out on November 9th, part of what the administrative order prevents audio and video recording in City Hall except for when public meetings are being held, which is a direct violation of Click versus Comfy. And can set them up for uh, federal lawsuits. Uh, for violating anyone's rights. You don't need any other business to go into a public agency or public building other than to film. So this is uh, directly uh, in contention with the First Amendment uh, and the uh, several numerous Supreme Court rulings that have been made in regards to filming public officials in public, I will be including the uh, reading from the uh, reading of the administrative order that was done. Um, and then we are going to go to the uh, city of Sheridan, which is actually right next to the uh, police department. They're in the same building. So if anything happens, this will be a fast response. So I might end up making it a live video. So we'll see what happens from there. But let's uh, proceed from there and get into the audit. Hey everybody, this is Rich with Blind Man Audits here. Let's see if anybody uh, gets in here. First, we'll give them a couple of minutes here. I know some people like to make fun of the way I film, but uh, I am blind, so we'll work with what we have, right? So today, I am at the uh, Sheridan City Hall, and the reason why I'm here is because of uh, some actions that happened a couple of weeks ago on November 8th, where there was a uh, administrative order passed preventing filming of and in the city hall in public and in publicly accessible areas where where I'm allowed to be and where I'm allowed to film. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to um, act and exercise my own right now in order to film in public and in publicly accessible areas. And I've got the GoPro going as well. So let's see that here. Um, it should be on the GoPro footage itself, but we're, anyways, we're going to go and peacefully exercise our rights and do our thing. So we'll see what happens here. I did include information in regards to what happened in links, 
So please feel free to take a look at those two in the description. Um, anyways, let's uh, proceed with it here. I may not be seeing all the comments, sorry about that, but we'll do everything we can there. their cameras there so it shouldn't be a big deal right let's see what happens here here first since I can do this here. We got a floor plane here. Um, zoning map, sorry. What office is this? Uh, this is general government. Oh, okay. Yes, All right, thank you. Yeah, is there anything I can help you with? Uh, not at the moment, no. I'm just gathering some information. Okay. Thank you. All right, All right thank you, sir. So. there.
Amazon. Thank you, sir. Thanks so much. Have a great one as well. Thank you. So that was that, not a big deal there. Looks like we've got public information here. Tri County, that's in Spanish. That looks like it's for COVID-19 related stuff. Is that supposed to be like a lazy Susan or is it not supposed to rotate at all? I guess it's not supposed to rotate at all. Residential information. Hold your hotline. Okay. Pretty interesting. Not sure if that's a housing thing or if that's a. It looks like there's some stuff for general interest here. Available volunteer times. Volunteers needed. Appreciate you sharing it. safe dispensary I wonder if the uh, public council chambers are accessible to the public during the day Public restrooms on the first floor, but I saw some over there. I think. Hey, everybody! Appreciate you all coming in on short notice like this. I saw an opportunity to peacefully exercise, and that's why I'm here. Here, that's what that is. Okay. So this is the municipal court. I saw the 
municipal entrance to the outside. So, going to respect the laws there. It looks like it's closed. It's the day before Thanksgiving. Okay, this is the... Uh, Trying to figure out, is that a courtroom? Let's stay out. They might have used it for the meeting a couple of weeks ago. give them a few more minutes here but no one's had any problems with me so far so I'm not sure if they realize that that administrative order was unlawful or what but anyways we'll see what happens but I, again I appreciate everybody coming into this and we'll see what goes on here give them a few more minutes and then I'll go check out the uh, Police department, we'll see what happens over there. No, I'm fine, thank you. like a lot of the other cities around here in Colorado they combine a whole bunch of buildings into one the uh, city hall or the town hall and then the police department and then they combine a municipal court so it's an all-in-one type of scenario so anyways see what happens here go down the stair elevator as opposed to the stairs says out of order. Oh. Well, let's go around then and we'll go the other way.
So, since we can be a little bit lighter, at least for the moment, uh, where are you all joining us from? Tell me what city. Wisconsin. Alrighty then. So we got a couple of great Lakers here. <laughs> yep. Let's see what happens here. Let me go check out the police cars. the show me state in here cool it looks like that says no trespassing so I'm not gonna go past that but have you noticed how a lot of uh, police cars Kind of like a little thin blue line. Well, in this case, it's kind of a thin silver line. But the art style is the same. Or very similar. Makes you think of a thin blue line. So. Anyways, that's not uh, a good connotation for a police department here. Hey, we all came from somewhere, right? I thought that would be more of a lion's den than it would be. It was kind of a whimper of an executive order there. But let's go around this side of the block here. Because I want to check out this side too, if we have time. when they don't always uh, come through and clear off the sidewalks 100% and they let it melt naturally I 
think the other side is the back side of the building though but I'm just curious is mostly grass. Okay, so this is kind of like a, a park. So anyways, that was that. Um, so I know that uh, this audit wasn't really, um, um, wasn't really as exciting or anything, but sometimes you can't have them all be big or, you know, where everybody's in each other's face there so we're just going to stand strong and recognize and uh, respect our rights and we'll just go from there otherwise though what we'll do is we'll call it at that i do appreciate you all watching and we'll leave it at that thank you